Wi-Fi is certainly convenient, but wired networks still have a lot of advantages, like higher download speeds for files and videos, lower latency for applications like gaming, and no signal drop-offs when you're too far away from your router. But unless you happen to live in a newfangled building with ethernet jacks like these built into the walls, how are the heck are you supposed to enjoy a wired connection? I mean, you could be like this guy and turn your house into a cable spaghetti, but a more appealing choice might be a little known but very useful standard called MOCA. MOCA stands for Multimedia Over Coax Alliance, and it uses the coaxial cables that might already be inside your walls. You know, the same ones that you can use for cable TV. I mean, it makes sense that they can carry data traffic. Cable internet has been around since the 1990s and can do gigabit plus download speeds these days. But how? Well, like cable internet, Mocha uses a different frequency to send data through your coaxial cables. That way, your cable TV signal won't interfere with your network data and vice versa. But how exactly do you connect a device with an ethernet jack to one of those cable wall outlets? Why, a dongle, of course. Specifically, one that looks like this. You plug in an ethernet cable from your router, then you connect the adapter to that coaxial cable outlet in your wall. Then you do the same thing on the other end for any device you're trying to get online, like a PC, a smart TV, or a wireless access point. Oh, that last one is key. Mocha is great for extending your Wi-Fi range for phones or other devices that can't easily take advantage of a wired connection. It is shockingly simple to set up and is encrypted for your security. Some routers even have Mocha built in, which can potentially save you the cost of an adapter at one end. But hold on a minute. Doesn't this sound like a less convenient version of power line networking that uses your home's electrical wiring? After all, everyone has electrical wiring and it's all over your house. Not everyone has coax and even the people who do have far fewer ports in their house. Well, I'm gonna tell you how Mocha is different from Powerline, and maybe even better than Powerline, as soon as we finish thanking our sponsor, Pulseway. Pulseway's remote monitoring and management software lets you have eyes on your business's IT wherever you may be. You can get simple yet reliable remote access to any monitored systems and have the same amount of control as if you were sitting right in front of them. And it's easier than ever to use now thanks to their mobile app. You can get important notifications and even trigger automations from the palm of your hand. Best of all, we have a great offer just for you, up to 40% off on all of their plans. So take advantage today and get started with a free trial using our link in the video description. The biggest advantage of Mocha compared to Powerline is speed. Because data signals sent over Powerline have to deal with interference from, well, everything else in your home that uses electricity, they're usually limited to top speeds of a few hundred megabits per second. That doesn't make them worthless, they can often have much better ping consistency for gaming than Wi-Fi, so they're still good in an emergency. But those speeds are pretty unexciting compared to the latest Mocha adapters that can do two gigabits per second or better, allowing high-speed client devices to take full advantage of a lightning-fast multi-gig internet connection or even video edit off of a remote NAS. However, Mocha adapters do have some downsides. For starters, they can be costly compared to Powerline solutions, and you may also need a small device called a point of entry or PoE filter if you have either cable TV or cable internet service coming into your home. These filters keep Mocha signals from interfering with anything that your neighbors are doing with the cable line and are commonly suggested as a way to solve performance issues if you place one where the cable from your ISP enters your house. And despite the fact that Mocha is designed to work well with modern equipment, certain older cable modems and TV set-top boxes can get kinda cranky when a Mocha signal hits them. So a filter on the modem or cable box itself might be a good idea if you're experiencing problems. But this of course won't be an issue if you don't watch cable TV or if you have a different kind of internet service such as fiber to the home. Furthermore, because coaxial cable lines are susceptible to disruptions from splitters and other devices, Mocha is still gonna fall behind the best traditional ethernet cables, <laughs> while costing more. It's just a heck of a lot more practical than trying to rip out your drywall, or your landlord's drywall, to install those aforementioned traditional ethernet cables. That is, unless you really like swinging a demolition hammer around. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, leave a comment with ideas for future episodes, and be sure to check out our video on Powerline Ethernet.